Hi, this is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to do my gray and green easy striped blanket using um, a double crochet together stitch or kind of a cluster stitch. It's an easy blanket that works up pretty quickly. I made the original one using Bernat Baby Blanket yarn and self-striping in Sprouts, which is a great um, gray, green, and white self-striping blanket. I used two skeins of that and a nine millimeter or N crochet hook. In this example, I don't have, I'm all out of that yarn. I am using Bernat dappled blanket yarn and blue wandering, which the dappled is really soft and it makes a really pretty um, ombre color. So the first thing you need to do is crochet an even number of stitches. For the blanket, for 28 inches wide, I crocheted 64. For this example, I'm going to crochet 20, just to show you how to do the pattern. So any even number will work. And if you want to make a large throw, like double the size, you would need You would need um, four times as much yarn, so eight skeins, and you would need to crochet 130 um, stitches, approximately. And you can have a throw to cuddle up with on the couch. Okay, so let's do that um, 20, chain 20. And I like working with this yarn. This is um, a super bulky um, gauge six chenille. Um, it's easy to find. Bernat um, has a bunch of different colors, dappled, baby, brights, ombres for you to choose from. Um, and since it's so thick, it works up quickly. It's a little hard if you're a beginner kind of to see the holes, but um, with a little practice, it gets pretty easy to work with. Okay. so. We're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So here's the hook, one, two, do one single crochet, followed by one chain one. And then you're going to skip a chain in the chain and do a single crochet followed by a chain one. Skip a stitch, single crochet, followed by a chain one. And you're gonna to continue to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we've end, we're close to the end. We're at the last two stitches. Um, you did your single crochet, your chain one, skip one space, and then the last stitch is a single crochet. Make sure that you ignore the knot. Um, it doesn't count as a stitch. Okay, so here we are. Then you're going to chain three for our next row. Turn your work and it should look like this. You have holes, single crochet followed by a hole. And that's where you're going to put your double crochet together stitch or a cluster stitch. So in the first space, I'm going to double crochet together, which is two double crochets, half of two double crochets put together in the same stitch. So you start like a double crochet. So you yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert hook, in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through two loops, and then you'll have three, and then you finish the stitch followed by one chain. And that is your stitch pattern until you get to the last stitch. 
So here, let me show you that again. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you have three on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three of those, followed by one chain one. Then you find your next space, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, you have three, yarn over, pull through all three, and then chain one. So this is what it should look like. You should have clusters followed by a chain one, and it keeps going. So I'll keep repeating that and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I finished this cluster stitch and my chain one, and then in, I have the next space, do one more cluster. And then you're at your last stitch. After you do your chain one, that is where you do one double crochet. Then you chain two and turn. And then this row is very similar to the first row. You are going to single crochet in each chain one space followed by a chain one. So single crochet in the space, chain one. Single crochet in the space, chain one. And you're gonna keep repeating it until the end of the row. Okay, so I'm, you're in the last um, chain one space and you've done your single crochet followed by a chain one. And then your last stitch is a single crochet on, in the last stitch on top of the double crochet from the row before. Then you are going to chain three and you're going to repeat the cluster row, the second and the third row until you have the height or the length of the blanket that you would like. This pattern is pretty easy. It goes pretty fast with the double crochet together stitch or the cluster. I can, it's easy enough that I can watch TV, um, my favorite show, and crochet at the same time. And since it's such a th thick yarn, you can finish your project pretty quickly. You can find this pattern and more on my blog, um, More Crafty Life. You can find it in the description below the video, or you can search for the gray green easy striped blanket. There is a free PDF towards the bottom of my post um, about the blanket. There's more pictures you can see um, what it looks like. Plus there's hundreds of other um, free patterns on my blog. Thanks for watching.